Hi everyone, my name is Kunjal Deliwala. I am the sales solutions engineer here at Qmetri. Today, I will walk you through the test components module of Qmetri Automation Studio. So on left hand side are all different modules and on the third module is the test component module. Now, if you click on the test component module, this module will include all the reusable features and we will see those while recording a test case. But from the reusability perspective, we can create standard groups, shareable groups. And once these components are created, they will be available in this module. Now, let's say uh, that there is a test case that has already been created. This is a test case that already has been created and has been recorded in a BDD format in a given when and then format. Now, let's say that I want to make some modifications to this test case. So for example, uh, if you can see there are two verification steps here. Let's say I want to verify the password field first and then the username field. So we have the drag and drop functionality available through which you can modify this test case. So if you can see, I can easily just drag and drop two different steps and you will be able to see that the syntax in the front also got captured automatically and you do not need to worry about that syntax change the system takes care uh, of it automatically for you so this is how you can utilize the drag and drop functionality uh, by just dragging uh, a particular step and dropping it to where you actually want uh, the, the to make the modification now, let's say that you uh, want to have some steps that you want to reutilize in some other test cases. So, for example, I want all users to perform these verification steps. Then I would just highlight these steps and I can utilize um, the create uh, uh, functionality here that we offer. So, if you click on the create button on top right, you will be able to see that you can create a standard component, a shareable component, conditional block and a repeat block. So if you cl click on the shareable component, which means that the component will be created that can be shared globally. If I create a standard component, it will be available to you globally within the project. But the main difference between the standard component and the shareable component is that shareable changes will be reflected in the children test cases. And standard component is just like a template that can be utilized uh, in inside any other test cases. So that's the major difference between standard and the shareable component. So let's go ahead and create a shareable component. And to, once you click on that, you will be asked to provide a name of the shareable component that you would like to create. So let's say I give the name as verify fields and I click on the create button to create a shareable component. So you will now see how it collapses to when followed by the name that you provided. And if you expand, you will be able to see the steps inside this component. And once any such component has been created, you will be able to see that component inside the test component module. Now here, since we created a shareable component, you need to navigate to the shareable component and you'll be able to see our shareable component that we just created, which will have the steps that we selected here. You can also modify a shareable component. Uh, and once you any modification is done in the test component, that will also be reflected in the test cases that this component is being used. So navigating back to the test uh, to the test case. So this is how we saw how we can create a shareable component and in a similar way how we can create a um, standard component. Now let's say there is uh, there is a step called credit. Let's say that you want to repeat this step. Uh, let's say five times. So if you can just highlight this step again, utilize uh, the top right corner where you can select the repeat block, where, which means that and if you give uh, a number as five, which means that this particular block that has been highlighted will be repeated five times while this test case is being executed. Uh, 
In a similar way, we have a conditional block, which means you can give a condition that, okay, this step needs to be executed only after a certain condition is met. So such kind of conditional block is available where you can provide different conditions before this step gets executed while the entire test case is being executed. So these are few of the modification uh, functionalities that is available inside Qmetry Automation Studio. So once you record a test case and let's say you want to modify, so you can drag and drop, you can utilize all these different components, create different components, use conditional and repeat blocks and completely customize your test case further as well. And in terms of modification, let's say that, uh, you know, you have, these are the steps that have been recorded and, if, and you want to add more steps to it. So we do have a functionality to add more steps as well. So you will be able to, let's say in the same test case, you want to make an API request. So you can actually utilize the 180 plus commands or actions that Qmetry offers out of the box. So you do not need to create and write any automation script, but instead just utilize all these 180 plus actions that we offer to build your automation and modify the test case as per your uh, uh, requirement. So there is another way to utilize these actions. If you click on the drag and drop actions button, you will be able to see all the actions that we offer. So we do have verification actions. We have some wait timers that we offer, some of the different other actions that we have with some general assertions. And you can also utilize and use the standard and the shareable components again as well inside any test case and modify the test case as well. So this is how we saw how we can modify the test case, customize your test case and utilize 180 plus actions or commands to build your automation further as well. Thank you so much for watching.